In this video, we are going to discuss network performance and what are the different factors which will decide the network performance. So, first one is that to estimate the performance of the network, we should consider four terminologies. So, these are the four terminologies or factors which can decide the network performance. So, the first one is the bandwidth, next one is the throughput, next one is our latency or delay and the last one is our bandwidth delay product. So, there are four different terminologies are there. So, let us discuss one by one. At first, we are starting with the bandwidth. In networking, we use the term bandwidth in two different contexts. So, first context and the second context. First one, the first bandwidth will be expressed in hertz and refers to the range of frequencies a composite signal can have or the range of frequencies that a channel can pass. So, in the first context, bandwidth will be expressed in terms of hertz. So, hertz means we know that number of vibrations per second will be known as the hertz. So, here what is happening? So, refers to the range of the frequencies in the composite signal that can be expressed in terms of bandwidth in hertz. Another one is the, the range of uh, frequencies that can pass through the media. There is a bandwidth of the media. Previous one was the bandwidth of the signal. So, both will be expressed in terms of hertz. So, next one, the second one is the bandwidth in bits per second and refers to the speed of the bit transmission in a channel or a link. The bandwidth delay product defines the number of bits that a channel can fill. So, that is the, num the uh, bandwidth delay is product defines the number of bits that can fill the link. So, just consider this one. This is a cross, cross section we are just suggesting and that is the length that is the respective delay and the volume is bandwidth into delay. So, in this way we can fill that this, this bandwidth delay product defines the number of bits that the that can fill the respective link. So, in our video we have discussed how to calculate and what are the different factors to determine the network performances. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.